Hi everyone, and welcome to how to create smoky brushes and type in Adobe Illustrator. So first of all, let's go ahead and create a new document. And we want to create a A3 size document here. So let's choose A3 from the presets and then click OK. Once you've done that, we want to create a background for this. So make sure that you have a black color selected and we want to remove this stroke here. And let's go to the rectangle tool here and then just draw a rectangle which covers our canvas like so. Once you've done that, let's go ahead and go to object, lock and selection, which will lock the object so that you can't select it. Now let's go to the pen tool here, which is P on the keyboard, and let's make a vertical stroke. So make sure that you've selected the pen tool and just click on the canvas here to make a starting point and then holding shift to make sure that you are making a completely straight line. Just move down a little bit and then click again, like so. Let's go ahead and make sure that the stroke is set to white. So let's select our stroke here and let's make that a stroke white like so. Remove the black color and then let's set the weight of the stroke to 0 0.05 like so. Now if we just zoom in here a little bit so we can see our stroke on the screen. Now, while the stroke is selected, let's go ahead and grab the selection tool again, which is V on the keyboard, hit enter. And from this box here, we want to type in 0 0.05 for horizontal, zero for vertical. Make sure the distance is also set to 0 0.05 and then click on copy. Once you've done that, Go ahead and press Control D and you want to hold Control D down for about 20 seconds, which will perform the transform again command multiple times, as you'll see here. Now let's go ahead and select all of these strokes and we want to set the blending mode here from normal to screen and we want to set the opacity to about 8%. Then go ahead and make sure that it's all selected. And then let's go ahead and press Control G to group all of these strokes together. Excellent. Now what we want to do is you want to use the pen tool here and we're going to draw a shape. So let's go ahead and draw a cool little smoke shape like this. And once you've done that, make sure that it is set to a fill color instead of a stroke. And now for the magical step. So make sure that this shape that you've just created is set to the top. So right click, arrange and bring to front. Now we want to select the path and the strokes together. Like so. And then we want to go to object. And we want to find and develop distort. And then let's go ahead and choose make with top object like so. Excellent. Now let's go ahead and check that the blend fidelity is set to a hundred. So go to object and then go to envelope distort and then go to envelope options. And there you should set the fidelity all the way to 100, like so. Excellent. Now we've got this nice smoky effect. From here, we can also adjust the way that our smoke looks by going and using the direct selection tool and then just sort of 
playing about with some of the anchor points here just to give it a little bit more depth. So let's create some overlapping points here, like so. And just widening our smoke. And then just giving it a little bit of an extra depth and a more interesting look to our smoke. Excellent. So just playing about with the anchor points here like that. Once you're happy with the way that your smoke looks, let's go ahead and start creating the smoke brush. Now from here, press F5 on the keyboard to bring up your brushes panel. And we're just going to click and drag our smoke into here like so. Once you've done that, a new box will appear and we want to select the new art brush from here and then press OK. Let's name the brush smoke brush and then set the direction to up. We want to get the method here and set that to tints and shades. And then from here, click OK. Excellent. Now that we have our brush, let's go ahead and apply it to something. So to do this, just take your pen tool and just draw out a stroke, maybe some letters. And you'll see that we have done something like that over here. So we've written out smoke using our pen tool and with a stroke weight of 0 0.5. Make sure that you group them. And then what we're going to do from here is we're going to go ahead and copy our smoke letters, which is control C on the keyboard, and then paste them behind. So control B. Set the stroke weight to three, like so. And now from here, we're going to go to effect, blur, Gaussian blur. And from here, we're going to use a radius of seven pixels. Awesome. Now, all we have to do to apply this effect is go over to the brushes panel here and select your smoke brush. Like so. Excellent. As it's quite a complex effect, sometimes it may take a little bit of time to apply the effect to your stroke. You can also repeat the process of creating a brush to create several different brush patterns, which you can then layer on top of one another to create even more complex smoke effects. Like so. So that's it for this project. I hope you have fun creating some smoky brushes in Illustrator and I'll see you next time on Tuts Plus.